What's up guys, Dan here. Today, we're talking desktop audio speakers, specifically Audio Engine A2 Plus and the Vanitu Transparent Zero. So, let's jump into it. Quick disclaimer, I'm not being paid for this. I purchased both of these speakers on my own and I'm nowhere near an audiophile, just an average guy with maybe an above average pension for decent speakers. Uh, so with that said, if you're looking for the winner here, spoiler alert, the clear winner is the Vanitu Transparent Zero or T0. So you can move on to your next video now. But if you want some uh, insight and feedback on why I think those are better and where the audio engine speakers excel and where the Vanitu speakers pull ad, stick around. So first up, how am I using these speakers? They're just gonna be sitting on the desk behind me. I'm using them for general music listening on my computer. I'm also using them as monitors for all the video work that I do, just to kind of get a live feedback on how the speakers sound. So first up, price. The Vanitu T0s come in at 360. And the Audio Engine A2 comes in at 270. But this is where the form factor kind of makes a little bit of a difference. The audio engine speakers are flat, whereas the Vanity speakers can be oriented to be angled up towards your ear. If you want to go with the audio engine speakers, there's an additional speaker stand that we purchased for $30, either on Amazon or on their website. So with that, that brings the price up to $300 for the audio engine speakers and $360 for the Vanity speakers. Now, $60, if your budget is $270, great go with the audio engine speakers. If you have a little bit extra to spend, I highly recommend the Vanity speakers. The audio engine speakers are a little bit smaller. The woofer is a 2.75 inch woofer with a 0.75 inch tweeter. The Vanity T0s come in slightly larger with a four inch woofer and a one inch tweeter. The audio engine speakers have the small credit card size slot on the bottom of each of them for a base port and the Vanity speakers have a passive resonator on the top, which kind of vibrates and allows some of the air to move around in the cabinet and radiate outwards. So inputs and outputs, they're both pretty similar here. They both have Bluetooth, analog, and a USB input. The T0 adds an optical input as well as a remote. Now this remote is huge. There's no other way to adjust any of the audio settings on the audio engine speakers. It just is what it is out of the box. As for the outputs, the Audio Engine A2 Plus has the RCA outputs for stereo. And the Vanitu T0 has a single subwoofer output. Now the cool thing about this subwoofer output is as soon as the subwoofer connection is plugged in, the Vanitu speakers change their audio settings and less bass is now coming out of the speakers. That bass is meant to be routed through the subwoofer. The audio engine speakers don't have anything like this. If there's something plugged in, they continue to play with the same sound profile. And speaking of sound profiles, the audio engine only has a volume adjustment. The Vanitu adds a whole host of adjustments, including volume, treble, bass, and lots more things you can set, and a few other key important things, such as which speaker is the left or the right speaker, you can set that instead of having to physically move the speaker. You can turn on or off the digital signal processing, so this gives you the natural sound that's coming from whatever source that's not really going through any processing. So the biggest thing is the sound. How do they sound? Which one sounds better? So I'm not gonna play them for you because it would be, unless you have both of these speakers to connect to your phone or whatever you're watching this on, it's, you're not gonna hear what they sound like. So there's no point in playing them. The audio engine speakers kind of sound like they need both the bass and the treble turned up, if that makes sense. Where the Vanity speakers, they sound great right out of the box without having to make any adjustments. And additionally, the bass on the Vanity speakers is so much more than the audio engine speakers. Now, some of this comes from the larger woofer, the four inch woofer on the Vanity, as well as the passive resonator. That definitely helps, but my lights are falling down. <sighs> but right out of the box, without any farther adjustments, for me, the Vanity sounds so much better. Now, including the stand in the price, we're looking at a $60 difference if you can at all handle that $60 difference, I would highly recommend going for the Vanitus. There's just so much more flexibility, so many more adjustments, and the sound right away without having to do anything else sounds great. So like I said, I was not paid for this. This is just something I set up on my own. 
I initially stumbled upon the audio engine speakers, read a couple of reviews, thought they would be sounding great for what I needed. Initially when I plugged them in, it wasn't wowed. It wasn't, it wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be. So I did a little more research and stumbled across the Vanity speakers, which got equally as good reviews. So I decided to give these a try. Again, I'm not an audiophile, just kind of like playing around with speakers. So this is my non-technical feedback. Uh, I hope this was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.